Hi, my name is Claudia Q, and I'm, um, I'm going to talk about the piano. So, here are some things about me. I'm going to 8th grade in Chandra School, Ardenwood, uh, next year. Um, I played piano for seven years, and I'm going on to ABRSM grade 8. I'm a member of the Eternity Band and many ensembles, Chicka Theater Girls and The What. And I play both acoustic and electric piano. I like drawing, crafts, and hiking. Okay, so here's some reasons why the piano is the coolest instrument. The piano is called the king of instruments because of its unrivaled versatility and expression. It has the widest range of all instruments. It plays up to four part texture and can, is capable of many notes at the same time. It's a band by itself and it's great for music composition. And some benefits of practicing the piano is better concentration and improved memory. Next. The piano is also called the pianoforte, which means quiet and loud. Um, so this note here, uh, this is C4, which is middle C, and it's a note that most piano beginners play from. So C4, if I go 12 notes up. This is one octave. Uh, so this is C4, this would be C5. C8. That's the highest note, so back to C4. Then one octave down, uh, so this is C3, C2. C0 is the lowest note. So if you count all the octaves and the notes, that would be seven octaves and four extra notes, which is 84 plus 4, which is 88 keys. Next. So there are different types of pianos. The biggest one is the grand piano. It's capable of huge dynamic range. The other one is the upright piano. It's cheaper in price and takes up small space. Uh, the mini grand piano, which is this piano right here, um, this is a compromise between the grand and upright piano. Um, so even though there, um, there are all different types of pianos, they still have the same mechanics. Uh, pianos are kind of like resonating boxes with strings in them and hammer to hit those strings. Each key is a lever to allow the hammer to hit one of those strings. Um, so if you look at this mechanism here, uh, follow my cursor, uh, this is the key. Uh, this is a side profile view. Um, this is the mechanism it moves, which moves this hammer here, and that hits the string. Uh, this thing here is called the damper. It mutes the strings after you play. Uh, so, for example, after I let go, it's, uh, it mutes the string so that it doesn't continue vibrating. Uh, so the piano also have pedals. Uh, so the rightmost pedal is the sustain pedal. It releases all the dampers to allow the strings to vibrate. Um, the middle pedal is called the partial hold. It releases half the dampers to allow you to play accompaniments without having to hold your hand. And the third, uh, the unicorda pedal, is the leftmost pedal, and it mutes the keys to uh, help you play softer. Uh, so basically, it just shifts the whole thing to the right. I don't think you can see it, but it, yeah, it mutes the keys. Um, next are techniques. The first one is dynamics. Dynamics is how loud you play. So uh, piano means quiet. Uh, so for example, this. articulation it's how you play a key so uh, for example legato means uh, so it's connecting notes and holding them uh, so for example legato staccato is the opposite it's detached and short and portato is the opposite uh, no in the middle
middle. Uh, next are chords. Chords are three or more notes played in harmony. Uh, there's major, minor, augmented, and diminished. So this is major, uh, which has a happy tone. This is minor. Augmented is major plus goes up one octave, uh, one note. Um, diminished is except for that down. And uh, so there's a triad. Um, so we also have arpeggios, which are broken chords like. And then we have ornaments. Um, so, for example, this is an ornament. Mordant. Uh, reverse mordant. Trills. Several mordants except for it varies in length. And turns. And reverse turns. Okay, next is the history. So, the piano started from the dulcimer. Then it became the harpsichord and clavichord, then it became the piano. Uh, the person who created the piano was Cristofori, and he wanted the piano to control dynamics. Uh, most com prominent composers in history used the piano, and some piano virtuosos are Long Long and Franz Liszt. Uh, next, okay, so piano has a long history, and it's ver very versatile. So there are different music periods. The earliest one is Baroque, which is exemplified by J.S. Bach, Vivaldi, Handel, and next is Classical. It's exemplified by Beethoven, Mozart, and Haydn. And the next is Romantic, which is exemplified by Chopin, uh, Mozart, and no, 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 Chopin, Liszt, Wagner, and Tchaikovsky. And the most current period is uh, Contemporary. It started from the 1900s. And there are many genres, such as pop, rock, and jazz. Um, some famous composers are Prokofiev, Stravinsky, Elton John, and Billy Joe. Uh, so this is the end of my presentation. Here's an example of contemporary piano music with uh, the accompaniment of a melody. It's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John, and the cover is by Sarah Borales.